Hi, this is Pythagoras video series, video 5, and we're having a look at Pythagorean triads. Quite a mouthful. Pythagorean triads. Now, what is a Pythagorean triad? It's a group of three numbers that obey Pythagoras's theorem. Any three numbers that work with Pythagoras. So, let's look at the most famous example. 3, 4, and 5 is a set of three numbers. Uh, and we call them a Pythagorean triad because if we process them into the Pythagoras rule, 3 squared plus 4 squared does equal 5 squared. Now 5, 12 and 13 is another form of a Pythagorean triad because 5 squared plus 12 squared equals 13 squared. If you don't believe me, you can check on your calculator, but trust me, I'm a maths teacher. Okay, so now questions we might get. Oh, just just uh, before we get to the questions, uh, a quirky thing is that any multiple of an existing triad is also a triad. I'll show you those. 3, 4, 5, as we've just seen, is a Pythagorean triad. Now, if we multiplied every one of those by 2, we would get 6, 8, and 10. And 6 squared equal, uh, plus 8 squared equals 10 squared. So that's itself a Pythagorean triad. Now, if we multiply that triad by 2 again and got 12, 16 and 20. If we check that out using the Pythagoras theorem, uh, we'll, we'd find that 12 squared plus 16 squared equals 20 squared as well. So any multiple, um, you can be confident that uh, the multiple is a triad as well. Now, the questions. Uh, this is one example. If we're asked to check if 10, 24 and 26 is a Pythagorean triad. Now let's see. We've got to check whether 10 squared plus 24 squared equals 26 squared. So we're asking does 100. Now 24 squared on our calculator is 576. And 26 squared is 676. If we just calculate that left hand side, we get both sides of this um, equaling 676. So that tells us that the Pythagoras rule works for those three numbers. So the left hand side equals the right hand side, that makes that mathematical sense there. So we would say yes, those three numbers, 10, 24 and 26 is in fact a Pythagorean triad. It checked out using Pythagoras' theorem and it made mathematical sense, it made the left hand side equal the right hand side. Okay, so another example. Let's check if 5, 7 and 11 is a Pythagorean triad this time. Let's see if those three numbers work well with the Pythagoras' theorem. So we're asking does 5 squared plus 7 squared equal 11 squared? Does that make mathematical sense? Let's have a look. 5 squared is 25, 7 squared is 49, 11 squared is 121 and on the left hand side that adds up to 74. On the right hand side, I'm a little uncomfortable saying that uh, 74 equals 121. It doesn't mathematically, does it? So the left hand side does not equal the right hand side with that arrangement of numbers. So we'd say no, uh, 5, 7 and 11 is not a Pythagorean triad. When we processed it, those three numbers through Pythagoras' theorem, they didn't actually work. They didn't create a mathematically satisfying um, process of, so they made the left hand side not equal the right hand side, so no, we can't call them a Pythagorean triad. So for Pythagorean triads, uh, the definition we'll remember is a group of three numbers that obey Pythagoras's theorem. It's a group of three numbers that work well with Pythagoras's theorem. Thanks for listening. Catch you next time.